Hey everyone, it's Sean, and in today's video, I wanna talk about something that people ask me about all the time. That is the question of what antivirus software or what security software should I download to my Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, etc. Okay, so before we jump into antivirus software, I wanna talk about this really cool software that you're seeing here. This is called Glasswire. Okay, this is really cool. This is not an antivirus software. Glasswire is a free program. There are some premium features if you want to pay a little bit extra, but it's a free program that is very very lightweight, it monitors all your activity in the background. So you can see here, I've got it minimized right now, but basically any communication between your computer, between your surface and the internet, it will show you exactly what's going on. So it could be Skype, it could be your browser, it could be Windows Update, it could be things that you have no idea what it's doing. It'll tell you exactly what is going on. Okay, so I'll show you a quick example. Let me go ahead and open up uh, Microsoft Edge, the Edge browser. Uh, let me go ahead and navigate to uh, google.com, okay? So you can see here, I get some pop-up notifications telling me that, hey, look, there's some activity, first network activity, so I won't do it every single time, but the first time something happens, it'll give you a pop-up notification saying, hey, look, something has happened. And if you go into your chart, you can actually see where these events take place. So let's go ahead and pause the screen. So let's say I'm like, okay, what is this big spike over here? So I go and touch it, and you can see it tells you exactly, it was Microsoft Edge, and you can see that it went to google.com, okay? And you can actually, so I've, I've had this been uh, running for a while now, so if I go back to look at, let's say the past 24 hours, I can see some graphs about different things that happen. Now this is extremely useful when you're trying to pinpoint malicious software that's sending out your private information and you wanna stop it, okay? You wanna stop that malicious software from doing whatever it's doing, you can actually then uh, go into the second tab over here. So the second tab is a firewall tab. So this shows you everything that has happened. And what you can do is you can block specific programs. So let me give you an easy example. Let me go ahead and open up the Windows Store. Excellent, so now I'm in the Windows Store and you know I can go around and, and look at different things. But now let's say that I look in my glass wire. Okay, so let me go ahead and look at the graph. Okay, so you can see something happened here. It's detecting uh, what happened, and I can see here the store communicated to this uh, website, and basically the Windows Store is communicating online to download some of those pictures and being able to download the app. Now, if I look in the uh, firewall tab, you can see, I can see the store right there. So let's pretend for a second that this is actually not the store. Let's say this is a bad software that was downloaded on your computer, maybe a virus or something you didn't like. You can go ahead and just tap this fire icon, you see now it's lit, this fire icon. What that means is you put a firewall there. That means now the store is blocked from talking to the internet. So now let's go back to the store over here. Let's click on a, a different app over here. Oh, look at this. The store now cannot talk to the internet. The store is blocked. If the store was bad, you would now cripple it. The store would be unable to send your private information online because very, very easily, you figured out which one was bad, you click the fire, boom, now you're protected. So of course the store is not really bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. And now if I go back to the store, it should work again. So let me go try that again. Okay, as easy as that. Now the store works perfectly. So Glasswire is a really cool way for you to keep tabs on your computer. It's almost like a, a pair of uh, tweezers and a magnifying glass. You can identify all the communication and tweeze out the things that are bad that you don't want. It's really good. In addition to this, so I showed you the graph tab, the firewall tab, let me show you the usage tab. So I can see from the usage tab which apps are using up the most internet. You can see Google Chrome, it uses a ton. Uh, Microsoft OneDrive uses a lot. And you can see also the top websites that are visited. 
uh, or communicated between. You see MS Edge has a, uh, has a big one over there and also the type of data that's being sent and received. So that's Glasswire. I highly recommend it. It's free. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you're wanting really detailed control over what your surface is doing, especially communication online. Okay, so now let's talk about antivirus. Now, the reason why I have not made an antivirus video yet is because personally, I don't use any third-party antivirus software. What I use is actually built into Windows. It's called Windows Defender. Uh, if you have a Surface, it's probably already enabled. So you can see I typed in Windows Defender into Cortana. And here it is, this is Windows Defender. Let me go ahead and uh, close down glass wire. So Windows Defender says that my PC is being monitored and protected. Uh, it's always up to date. As long as you have uh, your Windows update on, this will always keep updated. Of course, you can manually check for updates if you want to. Um, you can also look at your history of uh, quarantined items or what has happened. But in general, I don't download anything else. Windows Defender for me does a great job. It scans stuff. I can scan my computer anytime. It's really lightweight. It does not slow my machine down at all. And for me, it does the trick. Now, I do know many people who would actually benefit from something a little more powerful than Windows Defender. Uh, these are people who might stream, let's say, pirated videos and they don't know which is the real play button and they press the wrong play button and it downloads a bunch of bad stuff. Or people who go to download software and there's a ton of green download buttons, they don't know which is the real one, they click the wrong one and boom, you've got a virus on your computer. Now, if you're, if you're one of those people who don't know how to find the real download button or the real play button, or you're just really bad about clicking ads everywhere you go, then I would say that Windows Defender might not be quite enough for you. You'd want to download another antivirus. In the past, I have used AVG uh, antivirus. So you can go to www.avg.com. Uh, but AVG antivirus, uh, it's, it's really good, offers that extra level of protection. Otherwise, uh, my recommendation is just stick with Windows Defender that's already built in, probably already enabled. You can run scans if it makes you feel better, but just be smart. Be smart about browsing. Don't click on malicious ads. Don't click on malicious buttons that will download stuff to your computer. Uh, when in doubt, if there's a, a website trying to force you to download something that you don't wanna download, just restart your computer, okay? So there you have it, just a really quick video overview about security for your Surface Pro 4, your Surface Pro 3, and other Surface devices. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to check out the comment section. Uh, if you found this video helpful, do like it, and thank you very much for watching.